Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome to Dead Time Defenders, a side-scrolling looter-up, shooter-up game <laughs> that came out in Early Access not too long ago. We've been given a chance to look at it, so let's jump on in. At a top-secret military base with an undisclosed location, Mad scientists have been experimenting with time travel using military funding. Mistakes were made and now monsters are invading the Earth. News breaks out that monsters are not friendly and are causing havoc. The general orders his team to take the fight to these invaders by using the portal. We are counting on you to kick some monster butt. Good luck, soldier! Can't help but feel like I was channeling a little bit of Captain Crunch towards the end of that. Or at least that's how it sounded in my own head. Welcome to boot camp, soldier! Reporting for duty. Looking forward to kicking some invader butts on behalf of the Dead Time Defenders. Appreciate the enthusiasm, soldier. We need to run through some basics first. Use left stick to move around. Go collect that gun. Great work! Now let's focus on shooting. Use right trigger to fire your weapon. Destroy that steel crate. Ooh, and it gave me a bigger gun. Excellent, look at that. You found your first rare weapon. Loot comes in five different varieties. Common, rare, epic, legendary, and apex. Apex items are exceptionally rare and only available to endgame players. Now go pick up that rare gun and we'll continue. Yoink. Let's focus on changing your weapons. You can use Y to change weapons. Let's switch to the new gun. Now we're cooking with gas. Light up that enemy. Nicely done. When you're doing battle, you will end up taking damage. Restore your health by picking up medkits. And I don't even have to press a button. It's just done automatically. How convenient. Now let's focus on reloading. Guns will automatically reload when they're empty. You can also manually re blah, blah, reload anytime by pressing X. Reload your gun and we'll continue. Rock and roll. Sometimes you'll need to move quickly to avoid an enemy attack. Dash forward a short distance by pressing left trigger. Give it a try now. Smooth move, soldiers. That's the stuff. Or soldier. It's just singular. Be aware, dashing while reloading will cancel the reload. Ah. Oh, and surprise combat drill. You're facing multiple hostiles. Eliminate the threats. Ooh, and a helmet. Excellent work, soldier. You are really getting the hang of things. You found another piece of loot. I kind of eagerly grabbed it a little too quickly, though, to read what he was saying. Any loot you collect will get placed in your backpack. Press start button. Oop, nope, select button. I always get those buttons mixed up. This is your backpack menu. Any items you pick up during your runs will be stored here. Let's equip the paintball helmet now. Alrighty then. Outstanding! You have now completed boot camp and are ready to get rolling. Probably should reload. Collect 250 salvage. Ooh boy. Ah, they do have a tell. I fought as much. Awesome! You found some salvage, which is a commodity these days. So is salvage basically money? You got it, champ! You can visit me in the HQ to buy and sell gear when you reach level 3. Whoa there! Getting in my personal space little... Oop. Oh. Easy does it now. Yowza, these guys sure know how to take a beating, don't they? Oh, and this is only wave one of five. Excellent, you just defeated your first wave of enemies. Complete all the waves to complete a run. Greetings, I am Professor Vortex. I have a portal open at the end of the run that can take you back to HQ. I've also got a piece of loot here, if you are able to complete the run successfully. Take some time to regroup. You're ready, advance. 
All right, get our monies. I think that's the most durable uh, rate I've ever seen. And it only gets harder from here. But, on the other hand, if I hide at the ever end of the screen, they can't kill me. And isn't that what we all want? Also, I can't help but notice I seem to be leveling up. You know, see there's that little one with what appears to be an experience bar. 50. Oh good, that actually stays there, so if I... I end up needing it later. Oop. Then we will be covered. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> They're too much for me. Oop. Oh, oh, and we got a shotgun. The best kind of gun. Wait, where'd it go? You know, I also just noticed I'm actually being slowly pushed backwards by... by that. The, uh, recoil, that is. Oop. Wrong button again. Let's see, the loadout menu is where you see all your stats. Perks and weapons for your character. You will also see your current level and how much XP you need to level up. Selecting a weapon will show its details. You can also drill into the weapon to inspect menu equip mods. Ooh, nifty. Okay, so this is, uh, let's say it's level 1. This is level 3. Or, <laughs> maybe those numbers, uh, don't mean what I think they mean. Well, or maybe it does. Maybe you do level up the weapon the more you use it, or something to that effect. Curious. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. But it also feels like one of those sneezes where I feel like sneezing, but it's not actually going to... Not actually going to come out. Alright. So this is definitely more of a uh, close-range weapon. Well, I mean, you know, it's actually funny. Uh, I used to just always kind of take for granted that shotguns were, oh yeah, shotguns are close range weapons. But, you know, because that's how they're always portrayed in video games. But the reality is it really depends on uh, what uh, kind of ammunition you're putting in there. I assume that's not like new information to anyone. Just felt like sharing that. Hmm. And that was less good. I'm getting a little clumsy now. Taking for granted the fact that I can in fact be killed. Oh, but then again, there is that. But this is a really nice weapon at close range. But I'm gonna switch back to this. Just because... I like really, uh... Actually, you know what? To be honest with you, maybe I will stick with this. Yeah, that's actually proving to be pretty effective. Oh, and we leveled up. You are now level 2. When you defeat enemies or complete bounties, you will earn XP. I assume the bounty is that thing up there in the corner but collecting salvage. Earn enough XP and you'll level up. You gain health, skill points, and sometimes other rewards. If you level up enough times, then you reach the level cap of max level. Reaching the level cap unlocks the end game. You'll be able to do void runs looking for legendary items. Nifty. Okay, so we got two skill points, nine health, and five purple crystals. Holy moly, those crystals must be what the invaders are using to power the portal. We should use the crystals to unlock new zones for you to explore. Check out the portal in the HQ when you have enough crystals to unlock a new zone. Oop. Again, got a little, uh, perhaps a little arrogant, a little cocky there. Great work, hero. You defeated all the enemies on this run. 
collect the loot awarded to you for a successful run. You can enter the portal to end the run, you can retry the current zone, or return to HQ. I mean, I think we kind of have to return to HQ to see what, uh, what's- Oh, it's another gun. Nifty. Okay, yeah, look at all this fancy loot. The Eliminator, 42 DPS, 1.3 a second, 46 rounds. How does that compare to this? It's... Yeah, it's a bit better, actually. But it's only a filthy common weapon. Anyway, moving on. Welcome to HQ. Whoa, this place is sweet. Let me formally introduce you to our team. You may have met some of them already. First up is Professor Vortex. He is the brains of the operation. Greetings, I'm Professor Vortex. I'll help you learn new perks. These are special abilities to help in battle. Next up is Diesel. Hey champ, I buy and sell gear to help you on your runs. Weapons, costumes, mods, or sprays. You want it, I got it. Say hello to Ace. What's up, dude? I'll help you personalize your weapons by applying sick weapon sprays. When you have too much gear to carry, but you want to vault for later, visit Shade. Brrr. I don't think Shade likes me. Don't worry, soldier. Shade just isn't one for many words. Brrr. Sometimes you might need a hand with your upgrade or with upgrading your gear. Gizmo can help you there. Hey there, I'm Gizmo. My machine is capable of re-rolling your loot. Come see me later and I'll help you out. And of course, myself, General Shellshock. I'll help you level up faster by providing you with bounties. Take a look around or head to the portal and begin your next run looking for sweet loot. Well, I suppose first things first, we should look at our various menus. The bounties menu contains secondary objectives for you to tackle. After completing a bounty, come see me in the HQ. I'll give you the reward and assign a new one. Completing bounties is a good way to level up faster. You can choose to track a different bounty to follow its progress on the HUD. If you want to skip a bounty, you can spend crystals and get a new one assigned. Play free games, kill 50 enemies, pick up 10 health packs, and collect a whole bunch of salvage. Codex menu is where you see all the items available to you. Certain items, such as weapons, costumes, and sprays are only available in certain zones. Inspect the details of any item in the codex to get more info. Okay. Alright. We can see all the different levels, various items. No doubt the harder the level, the better the gun. Of course, also have our fancy costumes. Sprays to lovely color up our stuff. Weapon mods. Weapon talents. Costume talents. Got our lovely codex. Oh my, there's quite a few different enemies here. And of course, seven zones so far. Alright, but where... Where do I spend my skills? Not here is the impression I'm getting. In fact... Not you. Ah, here we go. Possibly. There we go. The perk screen is where you'll be able to learn new abilities for your character. When you level up, you earn skill points. You can use these to unlock new perks. You can have a maximum of three perks equipped at one time. Okay, mix and match. To match your playstyle, come see me anytime you want to learn new perks. Okay, max health increased. Start with 50% health, but med kits heal more. Pistol and SMG damage increased by 20%. Shotgun and melee damage. Wait, there's melee damage? They didn't teach me about melee damage. Specialty and energy weapons deal increased damage. Assault and sniper rifle weapons. Movement speed, dash distance. Well, that's always nice, being able to level up faster. Uh, you know what? Uh, I don't actually have the points for that. Let's go with this to start with. I think. That just feels like the right way to go. And what do you got? Nope. Oh, don't add the levels to really do anything with these fellows, so let us go on to the next area. Travel to another zone. We need to harness the power from the right amount of crystals. Research shows each zone has different weapons, costumes, and sprays for you to find. 
You can unlock the zones in any order you choose, unlock the ones most interesting to you. You can check the codex in the menus to figure out where the loot you want to find is. There are different game modes you can select once you are the right level. Choose a zone and a game mode once ready to deploy to start your run. Alright, well, I think we... Let's go to the bayou first. There we go, hero. We've unlocked a new zone for you. Each zone... Hey, right, you did tell me about the crystals already. I'll just kind of skip through you. And now we will... Now we will deploy. Whoa, god, th those things are fast. Maybe I should have picked the uh, increased speed. Well, actually, no, this, this is kind of working out okay. Ooh, yeah. And we unlocked a new hat. Who doesn't like new hats? Wave complete. In fact, you know what? Let's whoop, jump through that a little uh, too quickly. Uh, where did I? Where did I hide my hat? There we are. Gives me ever so slightly more health. Wait, that is true. Yeah, it does. All right. I was kind of doubting myself for a second there. Oh, we're a long way off from that salvage, aren't we? Fortunately, we uh, we do uh, you know work on the other bounties even if we can't see them. So that's always a good thing. Get out of here, swamp thing. Or I guess you'd be more of a creature from the Black Lagoon than a swamp thing. But you know, same difference. Ah, there was one for picking up medkits, but if I'm not taking damage... But then again, sooner or later I will end up taking damage. That's just, uh... It's like gravity, really. It is inevitable. Ooh boy, trying to sneak up behind me there, sir. Man, these guys can really... They can really take a, a few hits, can't they? Gonna have to get a bigger and better gun. That's the good stuff. Alright. Bit of a premature reload, I suppose. You know, in some ways, it also kind of feels like we get faster the deeper into these things we go. Not strictly tr certain that's true, it just kind of feels that way sometimes. Oh wait, hang on, hang on a second. These enemies have different levels as well. I didn't notice that until just now. Probably stay away from the giant plant. Ooh, this is an interesting situation I've put ourselves in, isn't it? Assuming the enemies... Oh, yeah. That's probably uh, one of the challenges... Whoop. ...of this particular uh, wave is that we've got, uh, now sure, we can keep killing these enemies, but at the same time, oh jeez, <laughs> that was not good. Now, I probably could have made life a little easier on myself had I taken them out as a priority there, rather than letting them both spawn at the same time, making life all the more dangerous. Alright, so these giant killer uh, wasp hornet things, not great, kind of reminds me of a uh, news story I was reading the other day about how there's like an invasion of like Asian giant hornets in BC right now. Makes me glad I'm not in BC. Though uh, I hear they've also, uh, you know, shown up in, what is it, like Washington and a few other, uh, areas as well. So, yeah. And from what I understand, you know, they, they basically showed up like many invasive species just by being stowaways on, on, uh, you know, cargo ships. 
but yeah, I mean, I've seen pictures of these things. So I, like, how... How do people live with such monstrosities? Like, they're big and they... They, like, eat exclusively other insects, and specifically, they, uh, decapitate, like, entire hives of honeybees. So, you know, screw those guys. Says I. You know what? I think, uh... I think we have time for one more. Oh no, they get more expensive. You know what, let's go back to the graveyard then. Give this another roll. I guess I should probably also make the, uh... This, uh, ooh, and we leveled up, just like that. I suppose I should consider making, uh, this SMG our primary weapon, seeing as... Oops, it is the weapon I am primarily using. Ah, but you know, there's there's no real rush to change things. Hmm. That scrap really is gonna take a few turns, isn't it? Alright, where are you coming from? You know what we really need though, now that I think about it, is a weapon that has uh penetration. We can penetrate our enemies, possibly with extreme prejudice. There's the good stuff. I like how my dash actually does damage. What I don't like is how I wasn't quite paying enough attention, so I'm not 100% sure whether the tutorial told me that, or if that's just a thing that we have discovered just by playing the game. Which is always nice in games, you know. Tutorials are all well and good, but it is also always nice to, you know, discover gameplay mechanics that aren't explicitly spelled out for you. Because then you get a chance to, well, discover, learn, explore, and so on. Best part of life, I say. Almost as good as blowing up giant jack-o'-lantern heads. Oh boy. Oh geez. You know what? Let's uh let's give our shotgun a, a chance to shine here. And you know what? It actually does an okay job. Up close anyway. Ooh -hoo. Though it is, uh, maybe not as good as our, as our SMG, but on the flip side, it is not bad either. Well, we've already established that fact, haven't we? Hmm. I do kind of prefer this though, truth be told. There's just something very satisfying about that rapid rat-a-tat-tat. Even if the shotgun is potentially faster. There's at some point totally gonna be a bounty for taking no damage on a run. Oh. And we will get that at some point. Ah, not bad. Oh, I, oh, I walked in the boat. I'm getting sloppy now. Oh, and we're only halfway through. Hopefully we find... Oh, jeez. This is turning south so quickly. You know, maybe, maybe I should go back to the shotgun. It's tempting. Oop. Thought I had finished yet, but alas, no such luck. Well, you know what, at least at these lower levels, we can't afford to horrifically mangle ourselves. 
You know what? I am going back to the shotgun. Oop. No, just just for the change of pace, really. Got a couple of critical hits in there. Oh, easy now. Oh, it's just all all Draculas. And I shot in the wrong direction. Well played. As always, of course, this weapon is at its best when we're right up close and personal. Alright, back to our old weapon. I'm, just, I'm probably just going to go back and forth. Because again, you know, that, that rat-a-tat-tat, it just remains ever so sad. Oh, wait, is that... Oh, we made it. I thought we had one more wave. And what perfect timing, too. It is about time to wrap things up. And Ooh, what is this? Let's take a look. Let's see. We go down here. The Falcon. Which is, in fact, uh, ever so slightly better than what we're using now. And I think I'll put the Gremlin over here. And that... I guess it's gonna do it for that. So, as always everyone, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.